Artworks This Week is made by MPT to serve all of our diverse communities and is made possible by the generous support of our members. Thank you. This photographer has an innate ability to find the essence of an object that resonates with beauty. It's next on Artworks This Week. Welcome to Artworks This Week. With all that's happening in the political and sports arenas, it's nice to know that art can sometimes give us pause, make us smile, even give us a moment to reflect on our lives and how we connect with one another. Today, we have several artists who connect very well with their audiences, their customers, and their fans. We hope their stories may connect with you as well. I think photography is unique in the world of arts. It is a unique meeting of the practical and the artistic. I've never seen myself as much of a scientist, but there is definitely a science that is associated with the camera and learning the, the technical aspects of the camera. And, and that aspect of photography is always, for me, intermingling with the artistic aspect of what I do, because when I'm taking a picture, I am uh, setting up my tripod, setting up the camera, deciding what lens to use, all of these sort of practical, technical, uh, considerations and at the same time I am looking at a subject that I have been drawn to and and I'm excited about and I'm trying to I'm, I'm honing in on what really works and what it is that has that has drawn me so I'm really using probably both sides of my brain much more than I thought I I ever could or or would so it is a very interesting combination of the practical and the artistic. Chance brought me to the camera. I took a class when I was 19, quite on a whim, in Annapolis from a wonderful teacher whose name is Richard Bond, who still teaches. Uh, at Maryland Hall, and I was hooked on the first class. I will never forget it. It was a fabulous experience. I took pictures for about three years as a hobby, and was very serious about it. Uh, took pictures all the time. I loved photography. I'd grown to love it. I just decided that I would become a professional and turn it into my profession. I had grown up with a father who was an entrepreneur, so it was an easy step for me, relatively speaking, to just say, okay, I'm going to hang out my shingle. I am now a photographer. I began as a freelancer and shot anything into everything. Then I began to specialize. I decided that I really wanted to narrow down to those things that I really loved best to shoot. So I ended up deciding that I would restrict my shooting to designed spaces. I had always loved architecture, architectural details I had always been drawn to. I had always loved natural environments, intimate studies of natural environments. So design spaces included not only interiors and exteriors, but also gardens and 
And actually this year I have photographed more gardens than anything else, which is kind of interesting, not quite by, by design, but by, by uh, chance. Another way that I feed my soul is through my fine art photography. I began as an art photographer and I have come back to those roots in the last eight years or so. I am very thankful to Carla Massoni of the Carla Massoni Gallery in Chestertown, Maryland, because she really has supported me as an artist in some amazing ways. And I really have begun to have my fine art as a part of my business and am selling my work, my work, in a way that I never thought could be possible. Celia Pearson's latest work can be seen in the just published books, Wayne L. Good Architect, Tradition, Elegance, Repose, as well as Pure Sea Glass, and both of the books are available in a lot of bookstores. So please go to our website, mpt.org, for more information.